Hey guys, so real quick, I'm one of those free thinkers. I think for myself, I do for myself. I don't depend on a job. I don't depend on, um, you know, no one to tell me what to do and when to do it. Make sure you subscribe and share this. Click, hit the like button. I'm not voting. And, you know, I put a post on my Instagram and I said, fuck Trump, fuck Biden, fuck Harris, fuck Pence. Ain't none of them ever did anything for me. So people say, oh, you should vote. Oh, you should use your platform to tell people to vote. Okay. Tell my black people to vote for who? A white old man who don't give a fuck about them just to vote for him? Just to vote out another white old man? Trump and Biden to me is the same. Democrats and Republicans are the same to me, right? So, yeah, this thing keeps moving. Democrats and Republicans is the same to me. So, as a three, a free thinker, as an entrepreneur, I'll go to the polls. I voted for Obama, and Obama didn't do shit for black people. And you guys have to read Claude Anderson's book. Okay, powernomics. And he said that if we do not pay politicians, we do not pay people to do things for us, we won't get anything done. And we've seen that over the last 450 years. No one has done anything for us. No one has came to our rescue. So it's really up to us, right? So I'm not voting. People say, oh, if you don't vote, you're voting for Trump. I didn't vote for Trump anyway. <laughs> so my one vote is going to change who it's going to be? No, it's not. You have to pay. If we ain't going to Biden with $7 million, $10 million saying change laws for black people. Listen, here's my thing. If black lives don't matter to the system, then how the fuck does a black vote matter? People say, oh, your ancestors died. You know, my ancestors died so we can vote for change. Not just to vote, just to vote one white supremacist out to put another white supremacist in. It's like crazy. It's like, really? Voting makes no sense to me. Actually does. It actually doesn't make any sense. What sense does it make to vote for someone who don't even have any any kind of agenda for the black people how how will they stop mass incarceration how will they stop uh you know redlining how will they stop uh you know the unemployment how will they stop police uh you know genocide how will they stop all of this stuff or what 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 policies are they going to have in place to stop this shit they don't have any policies in place right so what am i voting for I'm going to vote for Biden. He has no agenda for the black community. So what am I voting for Biden for? See, the reason I voted for Obama, because he was black. That's the only reason. But Obama didn't do nothing for us. So now we're going to vote for Biden and Harris and Camilla. Harris, are you kidding? You know how much black men she already has locked up and she put laws and shit in place when she was in California? Please. Listen. I'm going to go to the polls and I'm going to put Tanisha Marie. <laughs> I'm going to vote for me. I know how to take care of my family. See, it doesn't matter what president, like Grant Cardone said, he voted for Trump. But he said, you know, it matter if Biden or Trump is in office. He's still <laughs> going to run his business. He's still going to do what he got to do. And he's still going to continue to help people. So honestly, to me... Trump or Biden being in office, guys, don't make me a difference because I'm going to still do e-commerce. I'm going to still sell my onesies. I'm going to still sell my courses. I'm going to still make money from home. Really don't matter. So whether my one vote <laughs> my one vote ain't going to change shit. So I'm not voting for Trump. I'm not voting for Biden. I'm not voting for none of them. I didn't even vote when Trump got in. I didn't vote for Trump to get in. I'm not. I'm not voting for no one. My ancestors died so we can vote for change. Not vote for the same bullshit. Not vote for the same old, same old. 
black people have been enslaved for 450 years plus. We have been at the bottom of the potent hole for 450 years plus. Even when we had a black president, we didn't get anything done. So what convinces me, what convinces me that Biden is now going to do what for black people? What? What is he going to do? People say, oh, vote for Biden just to get Trump out. No, I'm not voting for Biden just to get Trump out. Because what if Biden's worse than Trump? People say, oh, nobody's worse than Trump. You don't know that. Biden never has been president. He was president when Obama. Look what happened with Obama era. A lot of bad shit happened with the president Obama administration. So what? Now I'm convinced that Biden and Camilla, they're going to come together to take care of black people and, you know, provide jobs and, you know, uh, you know, give us access to wealth and, you know, all of that stuff. No, because black people, here's the reality. If we don't come together and put 10 million, 5 million or whatever it's going to cost to change, then we ain't going to never change. If all we want to do is go to the club, if all we want to do is buy sneakers, if all we want to do is buy cars, if all we want to do is buy shades, if all we want to do is go to Miami, nothing's ever going to change for us. See, that's why I'm a big advocate of people creating their own. You create your own. So it doesn't matter what president's in, what politician's in, because you still are creating your own. You still get in your own bag. You're not worried about your job. You don't have anxiety behind your job. You're not praying for a raise. You're not praying that Social Security don't cut you off. You don't, you're not praying that your Section 8 cut you off. No, you are creating your own and you're getting to your own bag. No president can stop you. No politician can stop you. Right. We live in America. Free enterprise. Right. You can do what the fuck you want to do. Unfortunately, 80 percent of Americans depend on the government. So they do care who's in office. They do care about the politicians that's in office. They really do care. Me, I don't give a fuck <laughs> who's in office. I'm still going to run my business. I'm still going to look right now. I'm about to deliver. I just made one hundred dollars. I'm about to deliver products that I sell online. I'm about to deliver products that I sell online. I sell things for a living. People consume, so I'm going to be on the other side of money. I'm going to be the one on the other side of money. So I have a goal to help a thousand families be on the other side of money. And don't worry about if Trump or Biden or whoever the fuck else in. Because here's the thing. Trump done ran the bag up to 27 trillion. Obama ran up to 22 trillion. Trump added five trillion dollars to the deficit. Do you know how much Biden is going to run it up? He's also going to run it up. <laughs> they have no choice. Right. So I'm not for. Oh, let's vote. Let's vote. Let's vote. No, I'm for you creating your own. I'm going to vote for me. OK, Tanisha for president. I'm going to vote for me. I'm going to vote for free thinking. I'm going to vote for freedom. I'm going to vote for people creating their own. I'm going to vote for people starting their own businesses, more entrepreneurs. I'm going to vote for breaking generational curses. That's what I'm going to vote for. Not another white supremacist. Black people are so behind. Why would you vote for another white supremacist just to get another white supremacist out? Biden don't give a fuck about you black people. Camilla Harris don't give a fuck about you black people. So, if black lives don't matter, how the fuck does a black vote matter? That's what I want to know. If black lives don't matter to the system, we could say black lives matter to us, yeah. But to the system, this don't give a fuck about us. So if black lives don't matter, how does a black vote matter? They still haven't the arrested the cops that shot Brianna, that killed Brianna. <laughs> but go vote. Leave your thoughts. I'm spilling my coffee. Leave your thoughts. Leave your comments. Are you voting and why? Don't tell me you voting just to get Trump out. No, because there ain't a reason to vote. Then don't vote. Save your vote. <laughs> if you're voting 
for someone and you believe that they will change, then tell me why. But if you're just going to vote just to vote Trump out because you don't like, I don't like Trump either. I don't give a fuck about Trump either. I ain't vote him in either. I ain't going to vote Biden in either. I'm going to go to the polls, put Tanisha Marie, check, and put my ballot in. <laughs> Dr. Umar said he's going to put Dr. Umar, check, put his ballot in. My mom said she's going to put her name, check. That's it. Tell me if you're voting and why you're voting. Or why you believe that you really need to vote. And don't say because Trump, we got to get Trump out. That's not a reason to vote. A reason to vote is for change. To change shit. So if you haven't registered for my webinar, go to webinar of the 21st century dot com. I'll see you guys in class.